The surface area of a right prism. The main parts of a prism are the bottom and top faces, the lateral faces, and the lateral edges. The lateral edges are the line segments connecting the corresponding vertices of the bottom and top bases. If the lateral edges are perpendicular to the plane of the base, it is a right prism. In order to draw the net of the hexagonal prism shown in the picture, cut along its edges so that each face meets at least one of its adjacent faces in an edge. Continue cutting along the edges until the faces can be laid out in a plane. The surface area of the prism can be easily calculated from the resulting plane figure. Since the bottom and top bases are congruent, their areas are the same. The sum of the areas of the lateral faces is the area of the lateral surface. In our case, the development of the lateral surface forms a rectangle, so the area of the lateral surface is equal to the product of the perimeter of the base and the height of the prism. The surface area of the prism is the sum of the areas of the faces of the solid, so twice the area of the base plus the area of the lateral surface.